My name is Dirk de Brown. I work with moving image art, which is sometimes called animation or experimental film, but it's moved through different manifestations of that. And I've always been interested in abstraction and trauma and how that's manifest through abstraction and trying to work at over time to uncover those things. Thinking about my work early on, that's all very abstract, but then over time I kind of learned that it was all about things that were sort of in my body or things that I wasn't allowed to think about and th not allowed, I didn't allow myself to think about it, try to forget about it, and it was a good way to forget about certain things. But I learned that that doesn't work for your whole life. The bay, you know, this sort of slither of skin uh, on the outside of the suburbia is like a trace, a possible gap or a trace back to other things, you know, other times or other ways of thinking and other ways of looking and contemplating and maybe getting in touch with our bodies in a more silent, sort of emptied way. But the reason I started to do it was I thought if I I wonder if there's some sort of trace, if I start looking at the, what's out there that's not pestered by suburbia, is that something there that maybe the indigenous people used to see? Now I kind of think about, you know, this analog versus digital shift, there's pros and cons and everything, but I have to travel through it and it has an impact on everybody in different ways and it causes some kind of unsettling at times. But then we all, the whole community readjusts in some way. So I feel and I'm witnessing some of those things and I'm trying to work out how the body is impacted by these things. You know, how the way we look's changed. I think digital technology does change the way we look because we're all sort of trained to just sort of trawl through images, you know. And is that a good thing? Well, I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but it does change things.